do narcissists have feelings? Many people think that narcissists don't have feelings when this is not true. Narcissists may lack empathy, but they do have feelings. Everyone has feelings and narcissists may even have stronger feelings than most people. The narcissist experienced abuse or neglect in their childhood. They were either overindulged or underindulged. And this created a wound which then affected their emotional development, which left them unable to control or understand their emotions. Their parents invalidated their feelings. They made them feel like their feelings were not important which left the narcissist unable to trust their own feelings. It left them unable to validate themselves. Which is why whenever you are around a narcissist, you will experience that emotional roller coaster. They constantly experience these overwhelming emotions, which they cannot understand or control. They may try to hide it in certain situations, but they are always filled with these rageful emotions. They experience nothing but hate, anger and resentment. Unless you're dealing with a psychopath, a psychopath will appear cold or emotionally dead. But narcissists will always be full of rage. And they are guided by these emotions. They see their feelings as facts. Whatever they feel becomes the truth. They are so full of emotion that they are never unemotional. There is never a time where they don't show strong emotion. And that is why they cannot be logical or reasonable. That is why they cannot think or behave in a rational way. Narcissists do have feelings. It just seems like they don't feel anything because they lack empathy. They don't show any care or concern for you. But they do have feelings. It's just that their feelings only revolve around themselves. Even when it may seem that they have feelings for someone else, they are projecting their feelings for that idealized version of themselves onto someone else. They are seeing someone else as a reflection of everything they want to be. So in their minds, they're just looking at a reflection of themselves. They cannot have feelings for anyone outside of themselves. When you are around a narcissist, you will only ever be that emotional pack mule. They will treat you like their own personal workhorse. You will be forced to carry their emotions for no gratitude or appreciation. Their feelings are too overwhelming for them to deal with. So they need other people to carry the load for them. They will project their feelings onto you and tell you you're the one who feels that way. 
They will deny their own emotions. They will deny their own self-hatred. Because they don't know how to cope. This is why they're so self-absorbed. This is why they lack empathy. This is why they're so grandiose. And so arrogant and entitled. Because their narcissism is a coping mechanism and a defense mechanism for how they feel about themselves. Sometimes it can become very difficult for a narcissist to deny their emotions. If their hatred for themselves becomes too overwhelming, they will be forced to project these emotions onto you and say that you hate them. That is how they cope and defend against their feelings of self-hatred. They always deny or deflect their emotions rather than trying to process them. Rather than trying to understand why they feel that way. But their feelings have nothing to do with you. Their feelings only revolve around themselves. They don't feel anything for anyone else. They can only project their emotions onto you. When you are around the narcissist, you will become their human luggage cart. You will be carrying all of their hatred and shame. And it just drains the life out of you. It kills all the fun because you're dealing with someone who has these overwhelming emotions that they cannot control. You're dealing with someone who is extremely sensitive. When you're around them, you can only ever become their nanny or caretaker. You have to protect them from anything and everything that might hurt or offend them. You have to deal with all of their rage, all of their hatred and shame, which they're trying to constantly deny or deflect. It's like this big elephant in the room that you have to pretend doesn't exist because if you show them that you can see it, it will make them very angry. It will make them want to attack you. So you have to live this fake life, pretending like everything's just fine and dandy, as though how they're behaving is completely normal, as though there's nothing wrong. Because they're not going to carry their own emotions. It's too painful for them to deal with. And they also don't have any positive feelings for you. They don't really love you. They might say that they do. But what they really love is what you can do for them or how you make them feel. They don't love you. They can't love you. Their feelings only revolve around themselves. They can only see their own emotions. Everything they they think, see, and do is filtered through the lens of their own emotions. They cannot separate their perception from their feelings.
their emotion is the barrier between every person they deal with, everything they're trying to do, whether it's a relationship or a job. This is why they cannot get along with anyone. They are driven by their emotions. And some of them are actually aware of this. While others may lack awareness of it. But every narcissist experiences the same problem. Other than one exception. Psychopaths do not have any emotions. They don't feel anything for themselves. They are completely fearless. They don't feel any stress or anxiety. Nothing hurts or upsets them. And they don't experience love. They are primarily focused on money, power, material goods and influence. If anything gets in the way of them achieving or obtaining those things, they will experience rage. They don't experience any other emotions. There is often a line that even most narcissists will not cross. But it's not because they care about people. They hate people. But they're not going to risk their image or reputation. While psychopaths are not concerned about that. They are completely fearless. They don't value anything. Narcissists do have feelings. Their feelings are very strong. And they dominate how they see things. They dominate every decision they make. If you spend enough time around a narcissist, you will experience their feelings. You will experience their self-hatred, anger, and shame. If you are dealing with someone who doesn't get emotional, someone who doesn't fear anything, you are probably dealing with a psychopath. The only type of narcissist that doesn't have any feelings other than rage is a psychopath. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coached inquiries. You can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.